guys, Serena, I'm gonna be doing a hashtag Ask Saraya because I haven't done one in four months and that seems like a long time to me. I also tweeted asking you guys what videos you guys wanna see and a lot of you guys said a Q&A. So I'm here doing one for you. I also feel like a rainbow like threw up on me. I am just so colorful today, yes. Also, if you guys wanna see more videos from me, definitely subscribe right here. I will have a link right here to subscribe to me because yeah. Also, definitely follow me on Instagram and Twitter to be featured in the next Q&A and just to see like what I'm up to because I've been traveling so much lately and a lot of you guys have been wondering like where have you been that is why because I've been traveling so definitely follow me on Instagram and snapchat and Twitter I added snapchat <laughs> but yeah definitely follow me on my other social media places because then you'll know what I'm up to I tweeted on Twitter asking you guys to ask me questions with the hashtag ask Saray. let's take a look at them and I asked you guys to ask me some weird questions so let's see first question is can I be your daughter uh yeah I am your mom. Do you mind coming back to the Bahamas? I literally don't mind. That was the funnest vacation I've ever been on. I actually vlogged when I was in the Bahamas, so definitely check out my vlog channel. I will have a link down below. But the Bahamas was so much fun. Like, it is absolutely beautiful. A lot of the time when I'm like gonna go somewhere, I always look at pictures on Google and then in person. When I'm actually there, I'm like, oh, it didn't look as pretty as I thought it would, like on Google. But with the Bahamas, it literally looked picture perfect. It was amazing. I literally would go right now if I could. Do you ever pee with your doors open, lol? I do because I live alone. Well, actually, even when my fans are here, I don't even like close the door all the way. I'm just kind of like, I'm going pee, everyone. <laughs> would you rather see your future or go back in the past and fix three things you regret? Oh my gosh, that is such a hard question because I don't really want to change anything that's happened in the past because I learned from it and I grew from it. I feel like your regrets like make you learn a lot. So I don't really want to change anything that happened in the past. I don't really want to see my future though because I don't want to give it away. Yeah, I've been to like fortune tellers, but like they don't tell you specifically like what's gonna happen. Like, please just tell me that I'm going to have a bomb husband because goals. Can you roll your tongue or make it into a four leaf clover? Is this, I don't know. If you could have your own planet, what would you name it and what rules would you have? I actually like wouldn't really want to make my own planet. I'd probably like adopt Pluto because I feel like Pluto is very neglected and so lonely. The poor thing, like it's just kind of like there. The rules would probably be like for people to be nice and not mean. What shape do you usually get your nails done? And I usually get the coffin shape. I'm not really sure how to describe it, but it's kind of like narrow right here, flat at the top and kind of like square. I don't know. My nails are very long to some people, which I just feel like my nails are like normal because I'm so used to it. But yeah, I get the coffin shape. Are you going to vlog Coachella? And yes, I am going to be. I'm trying to get a new GoPro because I wanted to like make this cool like GoPro Coachella video because I think that'd be awesome. So yes, I'm planning on vlogging Coachella. What's your middle name? I don't think anyone's really asked me that before, but my middle name is Nicole, which is my mom's first name. So she like named me after her and same with my dad he did the same thing with my brother so my brother's middle name is paul so holla next question would you ever date another youtuber i think i would to be honest because you guys would have so much in common you guys could talk about like transitions and just like edit together and like film videos i think that'd be so fun i think that'd be awesome do you ever try to be a dj you have some dope music on soundcloud that is the best compliment ever i'm literally getting teary-eyed like i that would be so cool to be a DJ. Wow, that is like the best compliment I've ever gotten. I think that'd be awesome. Like that would be the next step because I always take the aux cord whenever I'm hanging out with friends. So like being a DJ is like the next level. So let me play my tunes. What is your biggest fear? And my biggest fear is probably something happening to my friends or family or like someone breaking into my house. Like I get freaked out because that sounds really scary. Imagine sleeping and you hear something and someone's like breaking into your house while and like in the middle of the night. That, no. Uh-uh. Peace out. If you had to pick one person to hang out with for the rest of your life, who would it be? P.S. You're perf and I love you so much. I love you too and this is going to sound so lame. Probably my mom. <laughs> Yeah, because I just, I don't think I could like live without her. She always got my back. So yeah, probably my mom. Are you excited for Playlist Live? I am so excited. It's in like three weeks, I think. But I'm so excited to meet you guys and meet some of you guys for the second time because I went there last year and I had so much fun. Do you like Donald Trump? Plus, I love you so much. I love you too and... 
I'm not really a fan of him, but I don't want to like be mean, so. No, he's not my favorite person ever. Are you mad that you can't see your forehead? Because I am. LOL, I love you. I love you too, and that is such a weird question. I mean, it doesn't make me upset that I can't see my forehead because I mean like I have mirrors that I can see my forehead. That's so true. You can't see your actual forehead when there's no mirror. Wow. What would you name your kids and why? P.S. I love you so much. I love you too. And if I had a girl, I would name her Layla. I love that name. I don't know. I've always had that name in my head. So probably Layla. I don't know if I had a boy. Maybe like Dylan or something. I like that name. Supposing that you could choose between losing the ability of hearing or seeing, which would you select? I love you. I love you too. Oh, I'd probably choose to lose my hearing instead of my vision because I want to be able to like see stuff i can always learn sign language and like reading people's lips how did you get better at makeup i honestly just practice and it's a lot of like trial and error i still have a hard time with my winged eyeliner i just kept practicing and it's a lot of like trial and error what was your worst period story ever i love you so much i love you more and uh i don't really have a worst period story ever but i do have a fun fact the first time that i ever started my period was in the space needle so <laughs> Yeah, fun fact. Sorry if that's TMI, but that's like all I can think of. <laughs> What's your favorite Starbucks drink? And my favorite Starbucks drink is a grande iced green tea sweetened. They put like matcha powder in and it's so yummy. It tastes like the earth green tea boba blended. It's, oh, it's so good. Okay, next question is please dab. By the way, I love you. I love you more and oh gosh. Let me put music on because I feel like it's awkward if I just dab. Buddy, one, two, three. I can't believe I just did that. Would you rather eat poop or lick fungus feet? I love you so much, sorry. I love you too. Um, I would rather do none of them, but if I had to choose, I'd probably eat the fungus feet because poop, ew. What are your favorite songs at the moment? And it's probably, here I'll play. One of them is Dangerous Woman by Ariana Grande, which I'm obsessed, obsessed. I like two different types of music that I like. I love rap and hip hop music, and then I like kids boppy songs. I don't know, it's so weird. This is Blue Hunnids by Cool John. No! I love Desperado by Rihanna. And lastly, I think this is like the fourth song, sorry. My last favorite song is Panda by Designer, which, good song. It's called Panda, which is such a weird name. 10 out of 10. I like this boy, but he likes someone else. What do I do? I feel like you should definitely let him know that you like him because maybe he secretly likes you back too, but is too scared to like tell you. You'll probably regret it if he ends up like dating that person that he likes. You'll be like, wow, that could be me. Would you rather have legs for arms or arms for legs? Ooh. I would rather have legs for arms because I feel like that'd be so funny like giving people high fives with your foot But having arms as legs that'd be kind of wait, that'd be kind of cool Like just just stomping around with your feet. What is your snapchat username? My snapchat is smiley Sarai, So definitely add me and follow me on that because I post stories every single day and I'm just obsessed with snapchat Are you planning on moving to LA in the future? I love you so much I love you too and I do plan on moving to LA I'm definitely moving to LA the end of June beginning of July that that is exciting. I'm super pumped about that. We so excited. Would you rather stop hiking or stop eating fast food? Love you by the way. I love you too. And I would rather stop eating fast food because I am too obsessed with hiking to like stop. Definitely stop eating fast food because I don't really eat a lot of fast food in the first place. So yeah. Did you get the Kylie lip kit yet? And if so, which one's your favorite of all of them? I have not gotten them, which I'm so upset about. They're just like always sold out when I try to get them. I was planning on getting it this one day and then 15 minutes later it was completely sold out and yeah, my dreams were crushed. I'm jealous of anyone that has it because you're lucky. Okay, Kaylee just called me because she wants to ask me a question. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Who's your best friend? Oh my, you're so annoying, dude. You. <laughs> you literally called me to ask me who my best friend is. What's the scariest situation you've been in? Also, I love you so much. I love you too. And the scariest situation I've ever been in, this is like a little mini story. So one day, Tila, Ava, and I went to see a psychic. And when we were like leaving, the lady asked me like, oh, what are you doing tomorrow? And I was like, um, just like getting my eyelashes done. Like, did you want to come? Like, why are you asking me? She's like, I need you to be very careful tomorrow. And I was like, what? Like... What are you talking about? That just made me want to stay at home in my bed and not move. And she's like, I just need you to be careful tomorrow. And then I was like, okay, like, 
whatever like stop so then it was the next day and we were getting our eyelashes done and then afterwards we got our nails done got out of our appointment or whatever and like walked outside to go to my car and my car was like over the curb where we parked and like about to hit the store so like my car was originally parked right here this is the store and it went over the curb and was about to hit the store so originally i was like there's no way i parked like that like there's no way. And Teal and Ava were like, oh, like, you suck at parking, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, there's no way that I, like, went over the curb and was about to hit the store. So then we got closer, and there was, like, police behind my car. Apparently, five minutes before we went out of our appointment, a guy ran into another guy and pinned him against my car, broke his legs. This is crazy. This sounds crazy. Grabbed the guy, pretty much kidnapped the guy and put him in the back of his car and left. He was missing for a day and the police found him the next day, like 30 minutes away, just like sitting on a side street and like his legs were literally broken. Yeah, crazy story. And the guy like ended up going to jail for like a couple days, which I'm like, how do you only go to jail for like a couple days when you do something like that? Maybe it was an accident, but I feel like it's weird that the guy that hit him didn't take him to a hospital. That was probably the scariest thing that's happened to me because if I went out of my appointment like five minutes earlier, who knows like what could have happened to me because apparently the guy was like crazy that hit the other guy. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Um, definitely still doing YouTube, living in California, and um, yeah, hopefully having a bae. When I look back five years ago, I would have never thought that I would be here today. Like, not like dead or anything, but like, I was literally making videos about pizza. So we've come a long way. Those are all the questions for my Q&A. Definitely follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you guys want to be featured in the next one because I will be doing more in the future. Definitely be sure to subscribe to see more videos from me because, yeah, <laughs> just do it. Like the Nike slogan saying, yeah, okay. I love you guys so much. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Something about